Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Today's thought, all right? Instagram is not all bad. That's in. I oh, missed, completely missed. Social media in general does tend to get some bad press. There's, people talk quite openly about the negative effects of social media, but people don't always talk about the positive effects of social media, the things that are good. This week something happened and I want to tell you about it. So Saturday night passed, I was, I was at home working on some stuff in the garden of Irrelevant and I got a message from a friend of mine called Ben War. Now Ben is an Australian dude who lives in Canada and we have never met, never. He travels around doing photography and video work for clients. He lives in this kick-ass looking van with his girlfriend, Nikki. And I just kind of have got to know him over the last couple of years on Instagram, years, something like that. We got to know each other through a mutual friend, Chris Howe, who put him in contact when he's coming over to Ireland. And the plan was initially to meet up and go shoot photos, but just schedules were like that and it never happened. We keep in contact and we talk about stuff quite regularly. So Ben was doing a job for one of his clients and there was a bit of like After Effects work that needed to be done for some titling. Anyway, he was like, he was neck deep in working this stuff out. As a freelance creative, sometimes you get stuck in solitude. You, It's great working by yourself, but there's those times when you haven't really got anybody else to speak to. And having worked in agencies and in big creative teams, there was, there was something nice about the point where you're just like, you either can't do something or you can't mentally work something out because there's so much on your plate and you would just turn to a colleague or, or a friend who works with you and just go like, I need, can you give me a hand? Because I'm hitting the brick wall here. I think Ben was in one of those situations but there was just so much on his plate and he was like, oh, something here that I know is simple, I can't work it out. So he dropped me a message. Yo, Dil, do you know anything about After Effects? And I was like, I know a, a bit about After Effects. And he says, do you think you could help me with something? So I was like, yeah, look, dude, I'm doing some stuff here in a minute. It's eight o'clock, send it over. So he sent me over this file. I opened it up, I took a look. He gave me a phone call. We had a chat, talked about what he wanted to try and do. And I was like, yeah, I think I can do that. Give me half an hour. If I can't solve it in half an hour, it's beyond my capabilities. So I was able to sit there and look at it and just go, right, what does this do? What does that do? How does this animation work? Where does this alpha channel mask to? What? And eventually I sort of like broke it all apart, looked at all the bits, not physically, mentally, broke it all apart, looked at all the bits and then pieced it all together again and was able to like replicate and recreate what he wanted so that he could do this, like basically so he could do loads of multiple titles on one of his videos and uh, give him a call back. Say, yo dude, I fixed that. I've created you a new file for that. All you have to do is go in now and tink tinker it, edit, send it back to him. And he was like, bro, thank you so much. He was just, he's like, he was like, I'm just, I'm up to my eyes and at the minute I've got so much on my plate, I just didn't have the time to sit down and work that out. So really appreciate you helping me out. I was like, not a problem at all, dude. I, I, I chat to him and ask him thoughts and ask him advice on photos and stuff all the time. So there's a lot of back and forth between us just chatting about things and talking through ideas. And uh, we had a bit of a laugh and he was like, yeah, I'll send you some money to buy some beers. Um, anyway, next day I get up, my wife says to me, who, who were you talking to last night? I was like, oh, uh, ben. She's like, Ben who? I was like, Ben, Ben War. She goes, who the hell is Ben War? And I was like, you know the Australian dude that lives in Canada in the van? She's like, yeah. Oh, I was just chatting to him. She's like, why? Why are you chatting to him? And I was like, oh, we're just talking about some, some bits and pieces. I was just helping him do a little thing. He was working on a job. And she was like, and then I thought, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> Pamela's not like me. I'm a, I would describe myself sometimes as a social butterfly. Right? I, I sat and I thought about that and I was like, it's kind of cool though, isn't it? Like someone can be working on in a, the other side of the world at completely different times and we feel that we can reach out to each other and ask for a bit of help or a bit of guidance or just sometimes just a fresh set of eyes on something. Anyway, she laughed at me and she's like, typical you just making friends with people at the other side of the world who you don't know. And I was like, yeah, but I love that side of, of social media. I love that, that whole getting to know people and talking to people from all different walks of life. And I think that if, if you think about social media is a bit like, it's a bit like, do you know when you go on a first date or you meet people in real life, there's always that little like teetering stage where you work out whether or not you kind of gel or get to know, have you got any common interests, right? It could be, this could be your inner relationship, like a intimate relationship, or it can be in just a platonic friendship. Is that the word, platonic? The thing about something like Instagram is you get to talk to people quite early on. You already have a common interest in photography and you get to sort of work it out. So then when you do start talking, you've got like all the small talk, that's done. Do you like taking photos? Yeah. Oh, what camera do you have? 
No, don't care anymore. Already know it. Know where you live. Know what van you drive. Know what camera you use. Know what stuff. So that shit's all done. That's small talk. So wait, we can just start like one step into the friendship process. And I've always found that really interesting. And I've sent videos over to a couple of my friends, take a look at it, to get opinions and thoughts. Just be like, guys, I'm struggling with an idea. What do you think about this idea? What do you think about that? Do you, is this something that can work? And I've, I've got to know some amazing people that I talk to all the time. Examples being Stephen Reed over here. We talk a lot back and forth, throw ideas, throw prices, throw quotes, throw production thoughts back and forth a bit. I talk to Ryan Say, who I've got to know, who lives in London. He's a filmmaker there. We know each other through Instagram. We become friends and we talk all the time. He's like my remote like colleague where we talk about all our work all the time to try and sort of work things out. I'm a friend, Dan Smith. Tim Burr, Chris Brockhurst, Donna, all these guys that I, I talk to and bounce ideas off all the time. That's all through Instagram. And as someone who's a sole freelancer who works by themselves, those guys are like my, they're like, they're in my office sphere. So it's like me going like this, lads, I need your help or your thoughts on something. Take a look at this, what do you think? And it's kind of cool being able to throw ideas past people. People throw ideas past me and we talk about it. And if you think about it, we're all like, it's like as a freelancer, Having people like that in your sphere where you can just reach out to and chat to when you have an idea or a problem or you're struggling with something or you just, sometimes you just want someone to take a look and maybe you just want affirmation that the idea that you thought you wanted to do isn't shit, which is mostly, mostly I'm like, guys, is this shit or not? Can you just take a look? And Ben did a story about this on his, on his post and I was chatting to him saying, dude, I was thinking the exact same thing. And in a nutshell, we were saying, it's so cool that there's this platform and this community online for people to just talk and get to know each other. From a professional point of view, to be able to actually reach out and talk to other creatives who are doing the same stuff or having the same problems or learning the same things or dealing with the same issues, being able to have like a sounding board where you can bounce. Otherwise, you'd be sitting by yourself going insane, especially if you're in a van with your girlfriend in your ear. Or, no offense, Nikki. Like Instagram especially gets a lot of negativity with Instagram fame and influencer bullshit and all that stuff. And I just think from a prof as a professional, using a platform like Instagram, it allows me to talk to other professionals, other people who are here in the same industry to bounce ideas and, and just keep, get a conversation going. That sort of really helps me as being a solo freelancer who sits in a studio by themselves. Because I'm like this sometimes. I need friends, you know? Just seems like it all gets a lot of negative press and I just wanted to highlight one of the positive things that happened that I thought was kind of cool and happens all the time and often we just forget to talk about this and say, hey look, Instagram's not all shit. It's actually really cool and it allows you to do all this stuff and it costs us nothing. So if you're new to freelance work or you're new to Instagram or any of that sort of stuff, don't be afraid to reach out to people and ask people's thoughts and help and advice and don't be afraid to give advice and thoughts and your opinions because as freelancers we don't have the, the direct community sitting around us in an office to, to talk to so we need to keep conversations like this going and it's kind of cool that you can talk to someone at the other side of the world it's not someone sitting next to you you can just chat to people from all over the world and get all sorts of insights so just a thought i wanted to share with you instagram is not all that bad sometimes it's actually all right so shout out to Ben, cheers for the money for the beers fella, I'll get some good beers, hope the project went well. Um, I'll tag uh, the guys below who I've chatted about and uh, thanks for watching. Another thought from my brain to my camera to your screens to your brain to hopefully you store it somewhere or just goes in one ear directly out that ear. Bow. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one. Hopefully that mic was turned on this time. Just wait for the... Chill out lads. Just the lads across the road, across the hall from me. Like that. Just kicked my computer screen. Computer's below the desk, just kicked it. Don't worry about that. What'd you do? Just kicked the computer.